Hello intro. In the previous lesson, we went over what is design and considered how artists use the principles of design, rhythm, emphasis, variety, variety, and unity. Remember that when artists apply the principles of design, they are organizing their work to add interest, make it appealing to their viewer, and for it to be useful. Designers are visual problem solvers that engage in visual communication by adding meaning to their images. Designers use imagery, color, space, and type to solve problems. When artists use type or lettering, this is called typography. Typography is the design of characters that make up text and display type, the way the characters are presented. Typography is lettering design. When artists design typography, they must consider the purpose of the design. Is it a formal or informal occasion and how they are creating visual interest as well as giving information? For your illustrated recipe, you will employ hand lettering, which is the act of drawing. It will require planning and designing as you choose your typography and imagery. There are three forms of typography, Gothic, Roman, and text. Gothic lettering is when all the lettering elements are uniform or have the same width. In Roman lettering, all letters have thick and thin elements, meaning the letters change in their width. In textual lettering, the letters are ornamental, are thick and thin elements, and they may contain serifs. Serifs are the little parts of the letters that kind of go off at the end in the design. For the next art journal page, you will practice typography using your first name. On one page, you will use that page to make to write your definitions. On the opposite page, you do not need a ground. I want you to use your first name five to seven times going off the edge of the page. One time you have to have your whole first name and use that whole first name as a point of emphasis by either adding color to it or playing with the size or maybe you make it a little bit more decorative than everything else. You have to have each form of typography, Roman, Gothic, and text. And I want you to create rhythm and variety by playing with the placement of your name and also playing with design and adding in patterns. Again, your names should be going off all four edges of the page. This page will work more as a drawing inside of your sketchbook rather than the art journal pages that you've already made. Make sure that you're using your time wisely, make sure that you're following the rubric, and make sure that you're practicing a high level of craftsmanship.